Sophie. <sighs> little little rejection for uh, me over the weekend. A little upset. You know, EverQuest, big part of uh, my life. I am uh, 53, level 53, a uh, shaman. Oh, when you said rejection, I yeah. was, was going to say, well, at least you have one left. No, oh, God. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when I think rejection in your life. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, this... At least three minus one, at least you still got two. Th well... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, EverQuest, you know I've been playing that for uh, about a year now. About a year. Level uh, 53. Shaman, Opie. Shaman. On the Drenal server. And, and uh, yes, you might as well talk to the wall behind you. Well, a lot of people saying, play EverQuest. But you're saying stuff I can't comprehend. There are different servers. Are you speaking Polish? What are you speaking? It is the mystical land of Nora, Opie. And it's on different servers. It's the same land on every server. But you pick the server you want to be on. Can one guy from one server play another guy on another no, server? No, no. Oh. You're exclusive to your server. That would be Even silly. though it's the same lands on every server, you're a different group of people. Well, are people so they can only you... handle so many people. Let's ask, because uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of chicks that want to know about this. <laughs> is, um... <laughs> exactly. Yes, Jimmy. Is, uh, like, people on your server, like, say, mm -hmm. I know that as disgusting as this is to me, that there yes. are people that are considered very high up because they're... Oh, yes, of course. Are guys on your server well known to guys, like, are guys on Keith's server? Do they no, know who each other is? I don't think so. I think that they they know each other on a, a very casual... From the EverQuest get-togethers. Right, right, yeah. And perhaps from the message 500 boards. men and one cantaloupe that they pass around and put their mules in because not one girl shows up. Make sure you microwave it. Get a little warm. <laughs> and the higher you rank, the, the uh, you know, closer to first you get to go. <laughs> Boy, I'll bet a little level 53 has to follow eight or nine mules in that cantaloupe. Well, uh, yes, about seven, I guess, since uh, you camp off at level 60. Yeah, there might be five 60s there. I'm working on my way up. Who's the loser that's at level one? Uh, the newbies. The guy who's getting laid, that's who. The newbies. <laughs> the guy that goes outside and, and enjoys the sunshine. Even to mighty level 60, Ophi, all start at level 1. All of us had to start at level 1 with that first step. You gotta crawl before you can walk. Exactly, me, okay? little Jimmy. Exactly. Huh. Well, Opie, yeah. um, I'm at level 53, like I said. And uh, it looks to me like it's going to be a little rougher for old Ant to reach level 60... Remember how excited I was about a month ago on these very airwaves? I explained to everybody how I was brought in to a community on the Drenal server, the Cats and Hats Guild. Do you remember this? Now, what's Jimmy a, Norton? What's no, a I, guild? I thought you were already in the, uh, the, the, the community oh, in, the, yes. in this alternate world. These are groups of people that gather, that get together and form what are known as guilds. And you fight other guilds? And, well, sometimes you can on you uh, player that. versus player servers. Shut but, up. But but for the most part, one person explained this is enough. I'm going to go nuts. And to answer your question, no, I don't remember it. I blocked it out like a childhood priest incident. <laughs> Speaking of which, we got a great John Valby song. Anyway. See, Opie, um, there's some high-level creatures roaming these mystical lands that you can't take out just by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. You need a group of people. And what better group than a group that you know and trust and work like a well-oiled machine? A guild. A guild of people, say, 30 or so people that can go on a raid and take down a huge dragon. Better known as a fraternity of nerds. <laughs> Whatever you'd like to call them, they are called guilds in EverQuest. And if you remember, I was accepted to the Cats in Hats Guild. Even though I was only a level 50 at the time, Opie, they are strict level 60s only. But some fans of the show on the uh, they in the guild, in guild, they allowed me in. Now, I, was I felt honored. I was wondering why you weren't wearing your wizard cap today and your cape. Exactly. No wizard cap, and I shan't be wearing it anymore. I, um, I was forced out of the guild <laughs> last night. Why? I was forced out of the Cats and Hats guild... By this is your rejection by three of the four officers of the guild. Did officers, you, there are officers of the they, guild. They elect officers. One <laughs> officer, Shinro, very nice guy, fan of the show. He didn't want uh, me out of the guild. The other three, I think the head guy's name is Learn, L-E-R-N. Kill him. The mother f he he. You know what he says? 
Him and the other officers, Opie? Huh. Yeah, of this guild? That's what they said. Fantasy of, land? Of the guild. Yeah. In EverQuest. EverQuest. Cats and Ants. Sure. That I did nothing to help the guild. I don't contribute anything. I don't go on enough raids. I don't go on any raids. Is he talking about this radio show? Oh, oh, he's talking about EverQuest. <laughs> EverQuest. Uh, well, maybe they were just mad that during your threesome you had more women than any of them have ever had. <laughs> yeah, they heard that story on the air and said, hell, man, he's too good for us. I was very, um, I was getting pissed off because uh, Shinro had told me that they were thinking about booting me out because I don't contribute. And a lot of people are getting upset that I'm in there at a lowly level 53, and these people had to work up to level 60. Oh, so I took it upon myself and said, you know something? I'm leaving. Did you have butterflies in your stomach, Anthony? As I, as I typed in, you know, re guild remove, guild remove, and hit that enter key, so they were gonna and saw cats and hats disappear from my name, so they were going to kick you out. They were going to kick me out. It was like a forced but, resignation. But they gave you the choice. To no, no, no. To I have some took pride. It. I took it upon myself to have some pride because I saw it coming. I <laughs> saw them booting me out. I will not have an ultimatum put to me. Right. You don't kick me out. I kick you out. Cats and hats don't have that kind of muscle anymore. <laughs> you goddamn cats and hats really make me laugh. <laughs> you took Frano in because the adrenal server was... I can't they remember. had me looking ridiculous. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. I've never heard right. that word pronounced that way. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I was... I How was ridiculous pissed. do you... Uh, I Feel felt right ridiculous. And rejected. Ridiculous, because now I'm going to be going through the mythical land, right? And people are going to see my name. They're going to see my name. And they won't see cats and hats it, next to it anymore. It's just not going to command the respect. That right, now they're going to look and go, oh, what happened? Oh, boy. Because uh, people would see it and go, oh, dude, you, you're in like one of the uber power guilds. Right. And I'd be like, yes, yes, I am. So don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Now I'm like an outcast, like a piece of trash. That has been thrown away. There are some nice people. Ted Yule, he was very nice. Shinro, very nice. Trixie, very nice. But this Learn and these other bastard officers of that guild, my wrath upon... You know that Learn is probably 14. Yep. 15, maybe. <laughs> you got rejected Look, okay, by, you I understand that. You got rejected by a 14. I understand that, but we are all equal. We are all equal on the server. Open. You got rejected by a 14. Yep. All right, rub it in! <laughs> Rub it in! That's great. You're the creepy old guy. <laughs> I'm selling them ecstasy and everything. You don't and want, what do I get in return? You don't want to be the old guy at the guild. Yeah, you don't want to be the old guy at the guild. <laughs> Aren't there any other... Groups? I was frosting my hair and everything <laughs> under my wizard cap. You were rolling with the teenagers. Isn't there another group of zeros that will accept you in? Well, you know something? I, I don't know. if I might just go around and be a loner for a while. Well, you might need like a cooler guild. Like a Disciples of Justice on the Ione Row server. Disciples of Justice. Or Mark of Honor. Mark of Honor, perhaps. Not cats right? And hats, that's uh, very gay. Cats and Hats. Gay name. Uh, 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 gay uh, uh, name. How about you join. You're a bunch of homosexuals. How about you join this guild? The human race. Not exciting enough, Opie. <laughs> when do you get to yeah. slay dragons in the human race? Yeah, how about the I never pull out because who cares what happens to her guild? What's the matter with you people? You're all guys! Well, I... Get a hold of yourselves! Uncle John. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, yes. You know yes. what's really sad is that these people have nothing better than to sit around and discuss whether you should be there in the first place or not. I know. You know what? There was a whole discussion going on? They are and were they scared so... to tell you? Did they... I think they were. Did they nominate one person no, to tell you? No, because a lot of them probably not come yeah. to the show. They're probably from other places. That, I think, was a big thing to do. Because everybody... I considered myself... You know something? When people like John Wayne and whatnot go off to war, they're not really fighting. They're there to get the troops' morale up, right? You know, like Benny Goodman, right? He'd bring his clarinet, and everything was fine and dandy. He's not picking up the gun. I thought that was my role. Maybe you should have brought I'm your like... rusty trombone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the entertainer. All right, I didn't go on the raids, but I was there as a member of the guild, kind of... You know, hey, they're uh, kind of, you know, I'm on the air, I'm on the radio, and they're promoting it. I'm like the publicity guy. They were carrying you, weren't they? Tossed aside they like were, trash. Just, because they were carrying you. They were not carrying me. <laughs> what did you do? You made cute little arrows for them? I just... No, I make, actually, I, I make the arrows. I uh, Keith makes the arrows. Yeah. I uh, actually got to a level uh, hundred on my skill in alchemy uh, over the weekend. I, I, yeah, yes, Jimmy. 
just a, why do you look so disgusted? It's, it's just, so much fun. It's not fun. You know what's fun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get out of the car now. That's fun. <laughs> We're gonna have to play the Dungeon and Dragons song I, no, now. No, no. But uh, so I'm alone now, yeah. and I have to now wander the land as a loner, Oof. lone wolf. Did you have and to turn in your pledge pin, Anthony? No, the name gets taken off of my, uh, the, the Cats and Hats Guild name comes off of my name. And now I just wander around. It's uh, going to be uncomfortable guildless. when you bump into one of these guys in your um, fantasy world. It is, because I see the, you know, you know, I was just in uh, on the, uh, the moon of uh, Lucelin, Opie. Yeah. And, and I was at the bazaar area, and there were many Cats and Hats there, and I felt like a schmuck. I'm just... I'm just you walking felt like an around. outcast. I was like an outcast. As you should have. I felt like felt a like complete a outcast. I was thrown out. Kind of nod and like, hey, what's up, man? Thrown out. <laughs> and a you know what I more... typed in? I typed in oh my God. your mom's box. Hold on. This guy claims that he's a, a good friend of Learn, the guy that kicked you out of the guild, Anthony. Yes, Ed? Yeah, what's up? Hello. Okay. Um, Learn. Uh, I was there when he created... I'm, I'm a recovering EverQuest junkie. And I was there when he created that character. Oh, I don't even know how long ago. Yes. Adrenal server, right? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, he, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's 16 now. He's about 5 foot 3. Wow. I mean, you know, he's, he's got a great sense of humor. He's, a, he's funny as hell. He's a dick! Yeah. But, no, you see... Oh, and, and dude, you're gonna, like, have no more life left. Have you heard about, um... The uh, Star Wars online RPGs that are coming out with. Yes, I have. I keep up to date on all these games. Yeah. Yes, I do. And that, EverQuest 2. Yes, well, yes. That's what I'm waiting for. Where's all learn from? What part of the country? Well, oh, he's from Jersey. South Jersey. Oh, he's from Jersey? And South probably Jersey. a fan of this show. You got rejected by a 16-year-old that stands 5'3", Anthony. Yeah, little does. bastard. You may do funny little impressions, but you're not contributing on the raid, so out. And he can still listen oh. to you on the radio and not have to suffer through your awful EverQuest play. Good for and you, And my Arden. slow typing. Exactly. Right, little. You little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you little bastard. You little bastard. Uh, what a power play he's pulled on me. Bobby Bigger, Big Rigger wants in. Bobby! Yes. Hey, what's going on here, guys? Hey. Uh, Anthony, I just want to remind you, there's no crying in EverQuest. Yeah, I know. Also, did you sign a pre-guild agreement? <laughs> I pre oh, why? So I don't have to give them uh, half? <laughs> exactly. Were the paparazzi in this fantasy world taking pictures of you as you were getting rejected? Oh, there you it's, go. it's a little embarrassing, but... Um, a uh, tape recorder is running when I uh, got kicked out of the guild, and I, I hate to even play this, but I think it has to be played. Don't you do it! Don't you! I got nowhere else to go! I got nowhere else to go! I got nothing else. Little harmonica. Woo. I'm sorry. I got my 12 sided die and I'm ready to roll with a wizard and my goblin crew. My friends are coming over to my mom's basement bringing Funyuns in the Mountain Dew. I got a big broad sword made out of cardboard and that stereo's a pumping Zeppelin. It's that time of the night we turn on the black light. Let the dungeons and the dragons begin. It's the end. Fighting with the legends of yore. It's the end. Never kissed a lady before. Nope. Mm. Woo! Take it home. Little solo for it. One more time. <laughs> now the Lord of the Rings, the dark crystal and things, we use these as a reference tool. And when we put on our cloaks and tell warlock jokes, we're the coolest kids at the school. No, we're not. I know. Now Tack's a real bastard, but a fair dungeon master. He's got hit points and charisma to lend. And I rehearse in my room, or what I call the dragon's tomb, when I'm not out with my girlfriend. It's the end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. No. It's the end. 
warriors who terrify. It's D and D. Virgins till the day we. <laughs> Two, three, four, die! Yeah. Nice. Steven A song for Anthony. There is his uh, rejection this weekend. Yeah. One of your uh, ex-guild members checking oh, in. Oh, ex-guild member, uh, Ronan. Yes, Ronan, hello. What's up? Hey, I'm on the radio. Hey, what's up? Hey, <laughs> I'm on the radio. Hey, <laughs> hey, Ronan, how old are you? Hey, I'm 24. Oh. All right, you sound, there you, you go. You sound like you could be... Yeah, younger. I'm in guild chat right now. They're all like, what the... You yes, know. yes. What happened, Dan? Why was I, why was I forced out? You know, I was talking to Shinro, yeah, uh, the other night, and he yeah. was like, "Man, I'm effing pissed." And I was like, "You know, what, what are you so mad about?" And he was just like, "They want to kick." You know, I'm not gonna say your character's name over the radio. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they wanted to kick him out. Of the, I was like, "What? That was all for PR. Come on. I mean, that's a good time, you know." Well, I guess I wasn't contributing enough for some of the. Uh... Yeah, Rhoda. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do? Give me. Buff of the newbie for 53? I mean, level 60 Shaman's got all them big buffs, right? I know. Dan, how how uh, much time do you have to put in being a member of the guild? Well, you know, you, you have to put in, like, you know, between, like, 6 o'clock-ish to, like, 10. 6 to 10 big... on a nightly basis. Yeah, it's basically. It's like a job. I mean... <laughs> it's like a job. And if you, if you don't contribute enough... They will yell at you, and you might be threatened to be kicked out of the guild for not going on uh, enough raids. Hey. Well, it's all about the loot, man. Hey, Ronan. Yeah. What, what was the inside word on Anthony, though? What wasn't he doing? Well, from what I hear, he has something going on with, with Shinro in the back, right? What? No. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's a, that's a joke. No, they didn't like uh, that I wasn't uh, contributing. Yeah, they was just... <laughs> hey, well, watch that potty mouth. Sorry, man. We're going to dump out of that. Yeah. Um, but they was just, I don't I like know, the, it was know just something. the whole thing. It was cool having you, like, in the guild because, you know, a lot of people were like, you know. Uh, Dan, Dan, yeah. I was, I consider myself like the unpaid celebrity spokesman. Yeah. I was like the unpaid celebrity spokesman. Well, everybody wanted to know who your character's name was, and we, we, we kept that pretty secret for a long time. You know what happened when the Opie and Anthony show was exiled from Boston? You see what happened? Mm -hmm. We came back and destroyed. Now I feel I've been exiled. I am going to have to do something now to get an army up. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, man. If yes. you need anything, me, me, and my, uh, me and my buddy here, I play a lot on land. All right. He's sergeant. Uh, thank, thank you, Ron. And, and uh, you know, if you need anything in line, we'll take care of you. You know, tell Shinro, you, whatever. I know Shinro had your back all the way. Yes, you tell those other kill. guys. Screw them. Hey, you know what? Yes. yes. <laughs> half the guild said that, you know, they, they really, we're all like in guilt chat. You were... I mean, there's, there's some stuff on here. All right, Dan, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, no, what I do? <laughs> you're, you're babbling a bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm on your side. All right, man. All right, you have a good one. Later. Uh, bye. Um, Anthony, we've got to take a break, but... Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> some final uh, words to your cat in a hat guild. Some of the people, very uh, very nice, helped me out getting, getting my epic weapon, Opie. They, um... They helped me out with my epic weapon, which I will always appreciate. Ted Yule, one of my great good friends online. Shinro. But uh, for the other three officers of that guild, suck it. Suck it. And goodbye. Goodbye. I will wander Norath as, as a loner, wandering zone to zone, killing, soloing a lot. Hoping to level, someday working my way up to 60 without the help of my former guild, Cats in Hats. Au revoir. Bon voyage. Uh, Anthony, Goodbye. The, the Green Eggs and Ham Guild is on the line. Would you like to talk to them? While no, we... I would not like to talk to the Green to Eggs and Ham or the Puss in Boots. You sure? Yes. This is it for you for a while? I'm done, Opie. I'm done. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for nothing. Well, thanks for nothing. Do you know what Dark Thor? Who? Dark Thor? 12-year-old Dark Thor? Yeah, this kid's 12 years old. God damn, we want to go to break, but... Dark Thor! Hello, Dark Thor! Yeah, I'm right here. What's up? <laughs> Nothing, really. Dude, you're hanging out with freaking... It's Dark Thor! 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I've never heard of you, Dark Thor. I know. Dark Thor, you're 12 years old. Yeah. All right, and you play this EverQuest. <laughs> yep. Jesus, Sam, what the F are you doing? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Oh You're a big radio star now. I'm sorry I got caught up in the game. But I'm all of a sudden seeing some of the advantages to play. <laughs> Stop. Uh, uh, Dark Thor. Yeah? You're on the show. I know. You're 12 years old. Yeah. What do you have to add? Well, if you ever need a group of people... Yes. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to find you, but um, yes. eventually I will. He'll round them up in his middle school, Anthony. Yeah. Jesus, what is wrong with you? Thank you, Dark Thor. Dark Thor, uh, uh, go out to the kickball field and get a get a bunch of people to start a new guild for Anthony. Huh? My army. Are you a member of the trench coat guild? <laughs> no, I'm not a member of a guild. Uh, Very good. See a loner. All right. All right, Dark me and my Thor. Friends, I, me and my friends just kind of uh, walk, um, take out people every once in a while. We're kind of like assassins. Thank you, Dark Thor. What level are you, Dark Thor? 60. 60. Oh, 60. 12 years old and he's 60. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Good point. All right, Steven. Okay. Better known as Thank Dark you. Thor. Dark Thor. Old. With a voice like that. Yeah, I'm Dark Thor. Hi. You're hanging with preteens. Yep. I, I, you know something? I don't know. You can't tell online. I'll say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but all I know is you pull up for a meeting and the FBI is there. 